What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk more about Destiny 2 and its current state. Now I was sitting here the other day going through many many old videos from various content creators on Destiny 1 in its heyday. What I witnessed a lot of the time was people including myself bitching about one thing or the other. Something was always broke and needed fixing. Balances always needed to be added here. Balance always needed to be added there. This weapon is too OP. Change it bongo. This weapon sucks. Change it bongo. Weapon rolling needs to be removed as everyone can have range finder on their shotguns. Remove weapon rolling bongo. Exotics are too hard to get. Change them bongo. Raids suck. Bring back the old ones bongo. The game is broke. Fix it bongo. It went on and on and on and on and on. What Bungie did was basically try and deliver on all what we wanted. If something was broke, they kinda tried to fix it. Taking all of this on board, they tried to make a more balanced game in the sequel of Destiny, which is Destiny 2. One which they thought wouldn't encounter many of these problems, adding solutions to said problems if they did occur, trying to make things easier on themselves. Like they mentioned, if a weapon was OP, they could simply change that weapon and not affect the entire archetype of weapons like would happen in Destiny 1. This is a system of effects beyond many things in D2 I believe, but did they make things easier on themselves? Were they looking to the future and thinking it would be what we all wanted? Changes and the simplicity behind the second game would work for both us and them? Is this actually what they thought? Now this isn't me kissing Bungie's ass, you guys know from my past 15 videos, I do not kiss ass in the slightest. But the fact this game is a mess, in my opinion, is the fault of our own, to an extent. Let's face it, we ain't the easiest community to keep happy. Half want one thing, the other half want another thing. How can Bungie get this right? How can they keep both sides happy? They try and balance it between the two. This is where it went all wrong. They brought us a sequel which left out all the core mechanics we loved about Destiny 1. The quality of life the endgame offered, the longevity, everything. But why? Why did they do this? I guarantee it's because they forced, it's what we all wanted, but how wrong were they? The balance at the end of Destiny 1, after 3 years of hard work put in by both Bungie and us, the game was kinda great and full of things to do, and still to this day offers more on a weekly basis in terms of endgame than Destiny 2 does. But honestly, I think we can't blame anyone but ourselves. If we weren't such a bitchy community, I don't think the game would be in its current state. And when I say bitchy, I include myself because I bitch quite a lot. But in saying that, I think Bungie listen way too much. Yes, taking feedback is key to a game's success, but not in the way they approach things. Changes were made to Destiny 1 which really were not needed. But because people complained to a degree, they were put in place anyway. I honestly feel like Bungie are scared of failure, which is fair, and they should be. But I feel they overlook certain scenarios and try too hard to keep certain people happy. I believe they are easily at a point where they can say, where you, me, any PvE or PvP player ain't happy with that change, go play something else. This should have been the mentality when approaching certain aspects of the franchise. Yes, listen to feedback, yes, address feedback, but at the same time, review its current state and ask yourselves how it will impact the future of the game if said changes are made. With this mentality, I guarantee this game would be in a better state than what it's in now. How many people have moved on due to these said changes while Bungie are trying to keep people happy? Many, many have. That's the point. If they had this mentality when approaching the creation of Destiny 2, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be in a mess we are in now with the franchise. I think we as a community and Bungie are both guilty when it comes to the reason behind the current state of Destiny 2. The thing is, we are all happy as low when said changes are in place. Upon waiting for changes, we are all angry and bitter. We can't win and neither can Bungie. But it is at the end of the day, emotions. Emotions towards a game which has impacted our lives a lot. We want to see it do great. Some people just control their emotions in different ways. Some people get bitter, some people get salty. Others oppress their opinions with respect and dignity and speak of what's needed to be spoke of. Yes, I hate the current state this game's in. I hate the fat Bungie are giving us dreams week in week out on a DLC, which will be boring after a week without the right changes are made to the core mechanics of the game. But I am also optimistic and will continue to be optimistic. They can only keep on getting it wrong for so long. I believe changes will come, I believe they know and understand changes are needed soon. What I will say is though, if you want your voice to be heard, do it in a constructive way. If you're just going to insult people or the company, ain't nobody going to listen to you, they're just going to laugh at you. When people hate on me, I absolutely piss my pants laughing at you. It's as simple as that. When people tell me my channel is dead, I laugh at you. When people tell me I sound like an idiot, I laugh at you. 
Now, if you used to tell me, oh, your channel's dying, post other games beside Destiny, I'd think about it. If people were to tell me, slow down, you speak too fast, I'd think about it. But straight up hating gets you absolutely nowhere. And I've learnt this over the past four years with Destiny, I truly have. If you want your voice to be heard, do it in a constructive way. The more people that talk about the issues with the game, in my opinion, the quicker Bungie will address them. What I hate though is there's so many big names in the community of Destiny. I'd say probably 10% actually speak out as they're scared of the impact it will have on them. Whoever's me, I honestly don't care. It's been long since I've been invited to an event by Bungie. It's been long since I've received press kit emails from Bungie. But do I care? No, I don't. I will still bring you guys truth in my videos because at the end of the day, you're my audience and I'm here because of you guys. And it's as simple as that. But guys, tell me what you think about this whole issue down below within that comment section. Do you think we are to blame for a certain extent for the current state Destiny 2 is in? Let me know your honest opinion down below within that comment section. But thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on my next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.